breaking travel news from across the world. Breaking travel news, London in Doha for one of the biggest events on the aviation calendar. It's a blizzard with a quest. Richard, nice Hello. to see you. Good to be here. Well, it all started with this aircraft behind us 100 years ago. Well, yeah, I mean, that's where it was. And if you look at the cost, he paid $400. Which now... Which, well, Ooh. I can tell you, depending on whether you're taking the CPI, because I looked at it, <laughs> it's about... It's Friday. It's Friday. It's about it? $10,000, $15,000, depending exactly. on, it's Friday, on the reference. Yes, yeah, exactly. he paid. But he bought it at an auction for charity. Right, I mean, we've flown on all sorts of aircraft. How would you fancy flying on Oh, those? I'd love to. Absolutely. Abs uh, provided I had a safety, uh, you know, a, a, a life jacket. Absolutely. We, it would have been an experience. So that would have been a fascinating... And, and of course, this, this, this wasn't wing warping in those days. By this stage, they'd actually got the air arms and they'd got the, yeah. the elevators yeah, yeah, and all yeah. that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, yes. so that would have been a fascinating flight. It would. From your experience, what's been the most fascinating flight you've endured? Experience. Oh, I think the, the single best flight would probably be Concorde, without doubt. Um, simply because A, it's not around any longer. Yeah, B, sure. it was a technological marvel, even though it was old technology. But to have been on Concorde with its afterburners, going through Mach 1 and Mach 2, was an extraordinary experience. I'm envious, I missed out. It was here many years ago in the Gulf region in the colours of Pepsi-Cola. Yeah, I got well, off, I got yeah, off by well, yeah, but even then, even when it was in the colours of Pepsi-Cola, it couldn't, as I recall, I don't think it could go supersonic because of the colouring, and I think ah, I think no, well, I think the fuselage had to. I might be wrong here, and I've no doubt somebody's <laughs> going to no correct me. I've no doubt somebody's going to correct me. But I remember a story that the the, the aircraft had to be white because sure. of the to reflect the heat. Interesting information. Yeah, I grew up in a lad in Western yeah. Superman, and that aircraft was the takeoff from Absolutely. Salt and it was Bristol. Amazing. It was amazing. amazing. Absolutely, seeing those, seeing it there was amazing. Yes. So that's your best experience. Well, I think the yeah. the, the the there's too too many of them. There's the longest flight in the world on the triple seven two hundred LR. Yeah. We went from Hong Kong to London, the long way around the world. Then with there was the amazing um, first flight on the three eighty. Any of these yeah, flights, sure, yeah. any of these no. flights that move things forward are amazing. And what about uh, residences in the sky with a Gulf Carrier Edhead launching this new product for their A3? I way? think it's going to be very interesting. It's a, it's a product that's a gimmick, but it's a branding gimmick in the sense, not a gimmick actually, it, is a, it, it's, it will serve a purpose yeah. for that airline yeah. to differentiate itself as against the other carriers. But you've only got one on each flight. You've got to question its commercial viability, Absolutely. the weight of it, the sure. rev even yeah, the yeah. revenue at 21,000 each way or whatever. Now, are you a real aviation buff or is it because of your profession? Both. Both. I mean, one loves the airline. We're, we're lucky guys, aren't we? We are. We, we love the industry. I've watched the industry. I've looked at it. But at the end of the day, it is a business. And, you know, it takes real skill to run an industry like this and lose money as much as they have done over the years. But it is a reflection, it is a reflection of the complexity of this industry. And a final thing, this important annual general meeting, what do you think should be the key message to oh, be taken away? I think the key message is how to get on with it. How to make money, how to actually do the business. That's going to be the important thing. Richard, thanks for joining us. Okay, thank you. Au revoir.